Hello everyone, this is Will. This is Alex. Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Hallelujah. Oh my god, dude. Mostly. I am so, I am so fucking elated. I am so <laughs> happy at this moment, okay? We're done. We're fucking done. With Uwe Boll. <laughs> we finished. Yes, we had to skip one of the movies because we couldn't record on uh, Sunday. But we decided to make but it work. you know what? We're like, we're going to finish this bitch. So we can still do a live so stream on Sunday. we can still Sunday. do a live stream about the subject that we wanted to do a and live celebrate. stream on. Because Cause he's we're fucking, done. He's he's dead to us now. He's done. He's done. We he can left, forget. He left movies because no one likes him. <laughs> I wonder why. After watching this movie, I can really see why. Even the other, even the other ones, I was just like, I don't know who who the audience for this is. Oh, but... oh no. Well, we'll see. Previously, I thought that Rampage Two was the dumbest pile of shit I've ever seen. I didn't know. Yeah, no idea. This is how bad the third one was going to be. Rampage President Down. Oh Jesus! I Jesus Christ, dude! I hate this movie. I I can't even. This is so stupid. Like, it's so stupid that it's not even worth me like trying to get an emotion out of it hold on i'll be right back <laughs> it's not even worth getting an emotion about it because it, it's just it's fish in a barrel i mean but here's the thing it's not just fish in a barrel it's like dead rotten fucking decomposing fish in a barrel yeah it's like and the water is is toilet water like, like sewage it's like, of course it's bad. It's going to be bad. Well, but, it's a new Vapor film. Of course it's going to be bad. But the level of just immaturity on it, display. It's shocking. It, it's really shocking how horrifically bad this movie is. It's not shocking. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it really it's is. It's embarrassing to me that a middle-aged man made this. <laughs> and they really... I'm sorry... A rich middle-aged man made this. I'll, yes. I'll mention that because, you know, for because for certain things that happen in the movie, a middle-aged fucking tax fraud. And if you thought that uh, in the second one there was a lot of <laughs> manifestos and bullshit scenes of like stuff that's going to happen but hasn't happened yet so they're gonna keep doing it we're not even gonna talk about this movie in like a chronologue i don't care i there's don't know way there's, there's no, no point way. here's the plot we'll just, i'm just gonna get this out of the way <laughs> the first 10 fucking minutes of the movie <laughs> president dies president vice president secretary of defense dead off screen okay i'm already like okay this is this is beyond fucking stupid rest of the movie is the FBI or whoever trying to capture our boy. That's the plot. That is the entire plot. Now, it's, just, it's the... It's just a hunt, a manhunt for Bill Williamson. Because he killed the president, vice president, and secretary of defense. And he, so much of this. <sighs> so much of this. Like, you thought the second one had just too many shots of him staring at the camera and just saying... Like gobbledygook, zeitgeist bullshit. Well, guess what? There's even more of that here. Not only that, there's flashbacks over and over and over to old manifestos. Oh, and don't worry, there's plenty of clips from the other two rampage. From movies. the other two movies, lots of clips. We get lots of snippets. Seriously, if you cut out all the manifestos, all the cut scenes from the other two movies, and the flash forwards, and the flash forwards, you'd probably have about 20 minutes of film, maybe. No, I'd say like 30. But here's the thing, that footage that you would have, like 10 minutes of that is just drone footage of people walking. <laughs> it's true. I mean, that, um, honestly. Because Uwe Boll got a drone, and he put it to use. He did. It's, he finally it, got a it's drone. It's unfortunately the only shots in the movie that are steady. <laughs> but <laughs> it's too bad. Oh my god, the cinematographer should never work again in, in film. Well, it's funny is it's the same cinematographer who's worked on every single one of Uwe Boll's movies, and it's just, I know it's and shocking. I don't understand exactly how he managed to be a cameraman at all because it. At least, at least in the old ones, 
at least in the old movies, there were tripods. <laughs> yeah, and not just a shaky hand. There were they tripods. I guarantee they don't even have like a harness or anything for it. It's literally just probably a guy holding a camera. And shaking it. Yes. Shaking it and zooming in a lot. It's homebrew shaky cam. Homebrew shaky cam. <laughs> That's what we get. Homebrew shaky cam. Also, in addition he to... He did stop zooming so much, though. He did, but yeah. here's the thing. There's no point because so much of the movie is just a dude in front of a rug on yep. the wall mm -hmm. babbling to you about how, how you need to do gov this. Government bad. Government bad. Fucking this is Rich bad, people bad bad. bad. bad, bad, bad. You need to go kill people. You need to go kill people, and I did the right thing. And, oh, our man has a kid in this one. We're supposed to sympathize with Bill Williamson, by the way. Like, I am fully convinced now that they want us to sympathize with a mass murderer that kills rich people because he assumes they're rich. We were obviously supposed to sympathize with them from the last movie, but in this one... But even more so now. They go insane. They go, like, ham with it. Now he has a kid. And it, he, has a girl, he has a girlfriend and a kid now. Somehow. And he gets all emotional about the kid and wants to take care of it and all this stuff. And, like, they hide out in a bunker for... Pretty much the entire the whole movie. movie. Yeah. So he kills the president. There's this like secret. There's these special agents that are just in office the entire time. Yeah. And then all the occasionally stuff, though, we get snippets of the news. News reels. Yeah. Where and it's just people talking over how ISIS is bad and ISIS did this and ISIS did this. It's like okay, we get it. And then all of a sudden it turns uh -oh. into this whole ISIS killed the president now. Let's just get to that, because this is the stupidest thing. Yeah. Because halfway through the movie, they know that Bill Williamson's alive, right? Because they have, like, facial recognition. They think they're going to have to go through every single person in Washington, D.C., even though that makes no sense because it's 2016, but whatever. But it's fine. And then, like, some tech guy comes in, and he's like, you know I what? got you. I, we can scan every person and every camera, and I can have it in a matter of two weeks and stuff like that, and then they find him almost immediately. You know he's good. You, you know how you know he's a tech guy, Will? Because he's awkward, and he has a neck beard. Yep, and he's a little chubby. Oh, he, he's the big chub. Yes. But it's fine. And, it, you know, and then he finds Bill Williamson <laughs> almost immediately. They trace him to where he's going, but they don't, they don't, they don't take action, okay? They just sit there. And trying to map out where he is. Here's the thing, though. I, I, I do want to point out, because, I'm sorry, you said they trace him. The, the, there's no... What tracing? Here's the thing. We get footage of them looking at Google Maps. Yeah, <laughs> or like MapQuest and then or something like that. some guy who's like an insider is like texting Bill and being like, they're getting close to you. Well, here's the like, thing. And... We never see any like indication... Of how the fuck they know where he is. That is true. They we, just know. Yep, they just know where he is. They know because movie. But anyway, so their group is going to get dissolved because they now the government is going to blame the president <laughs> dying the new... on ISIS. So, out of zero... Okay. Out of nowhere. Zero proof, zero evidence. They're like, oh, ISIS did it. Well, there wasn't even a... Vi oh, so there, they, like, there was a, a small like 30-second newsreel... Of, like, some news, they use stock footage of the news of some, like, like ISIS member talking to the camera. And they say that, like, ISIS is taking responsibility for the president. But in thing. that footage, they're, like, we They also see say no, there's no evidence. Like, there's zero evidence. And then, fast forward 20 minutes, now they're, like, yeah, ISIS did it. Yeah. Zero evidence. <laughs> zero anything. <laughs> then they go just... But it's fine! Then they just go full, like, full 11 escalated quickly bullshit because <laughs> guess what they do next after figuring out that ISIS uh, killed the president? Well, the next thing we see, Will, is we see footage of... <laughs> stock footage of missiles launching and they're like, 20 nuclear warheads were launched and... And a bunch of other bombs... And they just, like, they bomb the shit out of, what was it? They say Iraq, they say... Pakistan. This, this is the countries of Pakistan. Indonesia. Indonesia. And the Middle East. And the Middle East. Because <laughs> the Middle East is, is a, a country, country yeah, you know? According to Uwe Boll. Speaking of Middle East, um, by the way, when they're, like, examining the, the fucking facial recognition, they're like, there's only, like, one Arab in Washington, D.C., and it's a guy who, like, runs a souvlaki store. Yeah, well, and they're like, okay, well, he's coming out of the Suvlaki store. I'm like, you know Suvlaki's Greek, right? No, it's Like, it's you know Suvlaki's Greek? 
Well, apparently that one Suvlaki guy in a scene that was not included in the movie is the ISIS member who killed everybody. Because, so they, they nuke everyone. <laughs> they... Everyone. But, okay, but don't worry, because apparently China and Russia are again, are for this bombing. And then there's a even fucking... Even though they're not allies. I swear, a blink and you fucking miss it thing where they're like, the US and everyone else will split up the resources of the Middle East. And I'm like... What the fuck does that mean? What? <laughs> so off of no factual evidence and like immediate reaction, they bomb the shit out of. <laughs> I know this movie's made by like a fucking mongoloid, but just, so, so zero I'm, evidence. I'm still just in shock that that. <laughs> That this is an actual like plot point in the movie. I'm not just in shock about that. I'm in shock that that's a plot point in a movie that's not like a parody. I uh, you know. Like this is something that would happen in like Airplane. Yeah. Like a Zucker Brothers movie or like Doctor Strange Love. Not a serious, supposedly serious movie. Don't mention other movies and directors, okay? It might make Uwe Bull mad because we. Well, we know from the last movie that he hates Steven Spielberg. Yes. But we also find out in this during one of his of other people. one of his manifestos, he mentions that he he hates comic book movies like <laughs> like Transformers <laughs> and the event and the Avengers and, don't and, worry, and American, American Sniper. American Sniper. You know that comic book movie, American Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that because he also mentions that these are like fake films, right? And like, okay, American Sniper, they took a lot of liberties, but it was based on a true story. On a real person, yeah. Like, that's a real guy that did all that stuff. Yeah, it's an actual... Like, uh, like it's, it's basically a biopic, but, like, I mean, they embellished a lot, but it's still, like, it's not a comic book movie. Okay, but who... And it's based on factual things. Ask me the... Like, I'm gonna ask you this. Like, you, even, even Transformers included. <laughs> who the fuck is Uwe Boll to bitch about it? No one. You made. A, you you even, made. I would. I would rather watch the worst Transformers movie than watch any of these again. My dude, you made like the worst movies ever. <clears throat> All of them. What are you talking like, about? No shit. I would la rather watch the Last Night than watch any of these again. I would rather have I Michael would, Bay. I want Mark Wahlberg throwing a football at a robot. Okay. I, I would I, rather I, have I, Michael Bay and Mark Wahlberg sixty nine me. <laughs> that ever watch any of these again i don't even i just don't get like why be smug about it dude but well, he throws that in there my my main question for these movies is who the fuck is the audience who cares like literally it's just uve bull masturbating the entire time because these are stuff this is stuff he believes and he's just masturbating himself the whole time because you can tell this is like what he actually thinks and Bill Williamson is an idol is him. and and like is him here's and... another thing if you really think about it you really think about it there's like there is absolutely zero character development in this thing yes well, every character in this movie is just like a vessel to deliver and once Uwe Boll's bullshit. And once again, we give we get no, and I mean zero reason to even in the slightest care about Bill Williamson. Also, after like he is a shit human being. Yeah. Also, he, a after the U.S. decides to nuke the entire Middle East and split the resources between oh, it's everybody, done. It's um, done. they they also mention a brief snippet about how oh by the way every Muslim in the U.S. is going to prison. It's like a, uh, and don't worry because like basically the next news reels they forgot it all about that and the hunt for Bill Williamson is on. None of that's ever mentioned again, by the way. No, none nothing. of that's brought up. No, they don't care. There's no consequences. Nothing. It's just in there because like, fuck you. There's basically a nuclear war going on and it's fine because they're like they dissolve. This is the stupidest thing. They dissolve the the unit that's hunting Bill Williamson. But guess what they're doing? They're still hunting him. Okay. So, I don't know <clears throat> if uh, Uwe Boll understands how long all this shit actually takes, because this is a matter of hours. This is supposedly the same day. Is or, it? Or, well, it's supposed to be different days, but... But like, there's no... Here's the thing. There's no, like... But there's we have no, no idea. There's no, like, indication of what time anything is at or anything like that. And, like... Basically, Bill Williamson <laughs> caused a nuclear fucking holocaust. Yeah. And... It's fine. It's fine because we forget about it, and now we're just on this team hunting Bill Williamson. The whole time, by the way, 
Bill Williamson sees hacked in, so he's listening to them. And we get a glorious scene of them watching, watching Bill Williamson while Bill Williamson listens in on them. And one of them starts commenting on how Bill Williamson is so wrong. He like, I can't believe he's saying all and this. And then the other one's like, Well, if you really think about it, he's right. Wasn't well, the government bad? Blah blah blah. Government bad. Government bad. You know, Bill Williamson. I may disagree with his methods, but he's got. I. I... Well, he is a little extreme, but his ideal his ideas are there, and it's just like, oh my god, blow it out your ass. This is, this is just like the fucking Uwe Bull in his own film saying, you know, he's right. And then immediately after, like, having a scene where his character is calling a bunch of stations to say how rich he is. <laughs> it, it's, it's brain dead. It's the, not. Th these movies are completely brain dead. We get, well, it's fine, because see, the movie also, constantly, I mean constantly, we get like two second snippets of this epic shootout, right? And then it, it finally comes, baby. And it's so lame. It, he he mildly blows up a cabin, the interior of it. Oh, we see that three times in the we movie. We see that, at, I think, more than three times. I think it's, it might be four. Or five. And then again, in the in the absolute best police tactics I've ever seen in the movie, they walk into a cabin, blow the fuck up, and then they're just like, "Okay, let's leave." Well, I love. Okay, so I have to mention something about the cabin. Sorry, before you go on, um, I love how we get a scene in the beginning of them blowing up the cabin, right, and uh -huh. then. We get a, later on, like just uh, like maybe if, like 30 minutes later, we get a scene of Bill Williamson setting up the cabin to blow up because we've already seen it blow up. So why not show how he set it up? Why to not? Blow up? We have to see it. And then we see it again blow up in a snippet. And then when they're doing the final raid, we see it blow up for a third fucking time. <laughs> and like it's the same explosion from the first, like the, the start of the film. And why am I calling this a film? This is not a film. This shit pile. Um, it's cock a We already saw this, and we've seen it like three or four times. Like, stop. No, he can't stop. But don't worry, the shootout is like the because like you were mentioning the worst fucking like FBI tactics I've ever seen in my entire literally. Life. Just let's just walk in, get blown up, and then after that, let's just no. No recon, no nothing. Fuck it. Dude. Just walk down a open <laughs> fucking they basically, field. They basically line up for them for him to shoot them. And then we see Bill Williamson in a location that I guarantee you is in a different fucking state or something. Well, I love how they like they like they start getting fired upon and they just stand there. They don't. There's no serpentine patterns. There's no, no nothing. No running. There's no tactic. None of them are running to cover. Nothing. Nothing is happening. They just stand there and get shot. He shoots like four of them. And then he starts blowing up landmines or whatever, and we see explosions just repeating and repeating and well, repeating. Well, I, I love it, too, because it's apparent, it's very apparent that they filmed, like, an explosion, right? Yeah. So they filmed it at, like, three different angles. And they and reuse it. And then what they did, they just reused the footage, but it's at a different angle, so it looks slightly different. Yeah. Even though it's the same guy flipping through the air the same way three times just at different angles different angles yeah but it kind of looks different so epic you, so if you don't pay attention you won't know that it's what well you know if you're the kind of person who is the target audience for this i suppose you might be stupid enough to not know this i don't want to meet a person that actually likes this movie that actually watches something I, like this i, I, I don't want to meet that person that watches this movie and is like you know what he's right this is, this is, he's right you know? <laughs> He's right, you know. Yeah, I, mean, let me I do tell not you. want to meet that person. I don't know at what point he's supposed to be right, but we see the repeats, and then they run down a little, and again, they just stand completely still while this like automated machine gun mows down a bunch of them. And they're and just then, standing there, and then we get a scene of a drone coming by. Ah, and then the more explosions. More explosions, and then drone, and he's like, oh, he's been watching us the whole time. It's like, bitch, he's been tapped into you the whole time. You already knew this. You knew, because he taunt... He was taunting you. He's taunting you, and apparently threatening your family, because this is a guy we're supposed to be behind that threatens families and kills innocent people. It's fine. And then there's a... Oh, and I, I, okay, I, lo I have to mention, I'm sorry, I forgot to... I forgot to put this little anecdote. Um... With when you mentioned that he has a baby, you know, okay? Now, I want you to remember, I just want you, just recall 
how the second one ended. Okay, so we get a, a lovely scene. <laughs> I put that in quotes. A lovely scene of Bill Williams and his girlfriend, and like holding the baby, and he's like crying because like he's so like happy because he's like where he wants to be with his kid and everything. And then you know what I thought of? I was like, hmm, hmm, this is interesting because of the second movie literally ends with him handing a little girl a gun, telling her to kill both her parents, and then herself. And then kill herself and we're supposed to care that he has a kid now yeah like father of the year well it's like like okay like yeah terrorists have kids so but here's the thing not every movie is gonna put a guy front and center because i was just i was saying this like it's just a angry white dude i just don't get why we don't have like more reason to kind of sympathize with him. He's they, they've given no reason to sympathize with him. None, because every time I have to listen to another stupid manifesto, I just I'm sorry. Well, and my like, hatred again. His, like, his his massacres are just him assuming that these people are rich. He's not like looking into it. He's not doing research. He's just killing random people and just hoping they're rich he's just like mm, well they i mean they had bags of groceries they have enough to buy groceries they must be rich only rich people only buy rich groceries people, you know people <laughs> you know they couldn't possibly be a family on like food stamps on food stamps buy, no no buying, <laughs> buying groceries no way impossible i saw a toy in there they're rich I saw a fucking... She was wearing yoga pants. She's rich. She's got that 85% lean hamburger meat. Rich. rich. Like, because, again, it's just an angry white dude. It is. That's, That's all it is. is. And, like, why should I care? So we get the huge blowout scene. Fucking, like, the detective... He she... kills all of them, except one of them still lives. And tries to fire on them. They both die. And then you think it ends there, right? Because Bill Williamson's dead, and then all the detectives are dead. Well, no, we get this stupid scene that leads to nothing, where one of them, they're all bleeding out, and Bill Williamson sits next to a tree and starts bleeding out, and the other fucking detective walks up to him and, and is about to shoot to him, fire, and, then, and then can't, and then he dies, and just, okay, that yeah, ends. And then that ends, and you think that would be the end of the movie, right? No. Because they're both dead, and I'm no. praying to God. Nope. Nope, we still got, like... Bullshit. We still got like 15 more minutes. Because we get a bullshit scene where his stupid fucking girlfriend is watching the news and is like angry because they're calling him a terrorist. And she's like, he's, he's not a terrorist. And I'm like, by definition, he is an actual terrorist. It's like, if you, okay, mass murderer, is that better for you? I don't know. But then she starts playing the tape. The tape for his, his wee wee son. Yes. Where he's just like telling he him wanted, like he wanted her to give him to give the son this disc when he is of age when he's old enough to understand, and he play and she listens to him it's just him saying like you have a choice in life to change blah blah it's bullshit, bullshit. I want to read you something, okay? <laughs> what you got? Okay, so she claims he's not a terrorist, right? Now just, you looked it up, didn't you? Yeah. Here, here's, <laughs> here's the definition. Of a terrorist, okay? Yeah, but Uwe Boll can't read. But don't, so. worry, don't worry. <laughs> not gonna... Don't worry. This guy's not a terrorist. Trust me. That was fine. A person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the um, in the pursuit of political aims. Ah, uh, 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 yes, a terrorist. <laughs> like the movie. You mean like this guy doing all this shit that is exactly that definition. Yep. Yeah, and another thing, like, <laughs> here is like... Here's that level of just, like, lack of self-awareness. Yes. Right? By, just by sheer human nature, every terrorist thinks they're doing the right thing. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Even though they're fucking crazy. Every terrorist. Yes. Every good movie about terrorists points this out. By, like, every terrorist on the history of the planet thought they were doing the right thing, as does our terrorist. Here's the issue, though. This is the only movie I know where you're supposed to watch this and be like, no, he's not a terrorist. He's not a terrorist. He's a good guy. He's doing what's... Okay. He's doing what needs to be done for our, our... For our people. Because government bad. Yeah, like every other terrorist on the fucking planet who think that they're doing <laughs> yes. what needs to be... It's a terrorist. Okay. 
So then she she gets mad at the disc because it's like him saying how much he loves his son and how he should defy the government and he wants and she to... smashes it's, the it's disc. It's another manifesto but geared towards his son. Towards Babby Bill. And then she gets she smashes the disc for some reason. And then the movie loses me. This is the stupidest most <laughs> Wait, it lost you here? No, I'm saying in... well, like this is like the stupidest part. I still think this for We've watched so many of his movies. This end part is, is the a... stupidest fucking thing. <laughs> you got really mad at one thing they mentioned. It's the stupidest thing. Like, I I, I can't believe a, a middle-aged man put that in their movie. So I cannot believe we're about to say what we're about to say. It cuts to the news station. She's saying how... There's shootouts. An, there's, like, gun violence everywhere. An uprising has started because... People that followed Bill Williamson are now just shooting random civilians. And then, but I just, again, this is the stupidity. She's just like, but it seems like most of the shooting is taking place in rich areas, like Wall Street. That's like in, like, some movies where they're like, oh, don't worry, this place was abandoned. It's abandoned. Abandoned, so we can have a firefight in here without any civilians getting hurt. Yeah, but no, in this, they literally just mention, like, oh, it's fine, they're all rich. And then they... They keep going. But we're supposed to be okay with them just murdering even, like, rich people. Like, You know there's uh, you know, there's a lot of people in Wall Street. You know there's a lot of rich people that aren't, like, bad people? And they're saying, like, oh, it's only rich areas. Like, Don't worry, it's only rich areas. It's like, okay, like... That means nothing. Homeless people could be in rich areas. That means nothing. Nothing. Like, rich areas? Oh, you mean, like, where Uwe Boll would live? Yes. Would he be fine with? Would Uwe Boll be fine with me going to his rich area and shooting him? <laughs> I mean, would he be fine with it? And through all all of this. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Apparently, by by the fact that he made these three pieces of monkey shit, he thinks he's what the next fucking. It's like he George went, Washington. I swear to God, it's like someone goes into a fucking Starbucks and gets like like. The barista doesn't make their drink right, so, that, like, like, okay, the barista doesn't make your drink right, so you want to kill them for that? Like, It's fine, because Will, Will, our man, made three movies on that. <laughs> it's just, like, just me mad, me kill people. Because this stupid scene keeps going, and they're like, oh, we, dumb. oh they're like, we've also have news that former President George Bush has been pronounced dead. I, I do love this, though. Again, this is like, this is, like, this is how you know he's stupid. And don't worry. Which George Bush? <laughs> yes. HW or W? Yeah, there's If it's two. the news, I'm pretty there's, sure they would tell you. There's two. There's two. But they're just like, George Bush. Okay. Which one? Thanks. Also, they all they always just mention the president. They never say which president got killed. I'm assuming Obama, like Obama, because they kind of sh mentioned him in the second yeah. film. No, well, for this, they, they specifically say George Bush, but they don't tell you which fucking. Well, I know, but like when the president first dies, they oh just yeah, say the president has been president assassination. Or yeah, or and then they don't tell you like who's the new president. I don't know who's the new who the fuck is in charge now. I don't know. <laughs> they don't even say. They just say the new president. But apparently, whoever is in charge just drop nukes. They just say the new president. He just drops nukes on fucking the, the country of the Middle East. <laughs> okay, so now it says now after the. George Bush. Thing. <laughs> it's like we've also heard of like the CEOs, CEOs of, of rich companies, of General Electric and Microsoft. Microsoft, along with Mark Zuckerberg, and then your favorite. I I no. Before we continue there, I just want to mention like, like okay, Microsoft. I mean, here's the thing. Like, are they talking about Bill Gates? Because Bill Gates donates a shitload of fucking money to, like, good causes. Like, Bill Gates. Bill Gates, like, his shit that he takes does more for the world than any of Uwe Boll's films. Yes. But apparently, I'm guessing Uwe Boll was one day on his computer, and he got a blue screen of death. Also, you can't tell me that none of the shit they were, like, making the movie with, like... It wasn't had to, with had Microsoft? To, had to do anything with Microsoft or Apple? Or Facebook? Yeah. Um, because the, the Mark Zuckerberg thing says, because it says, like, oh, a, for, 
an employee of Mark Zuckerberg killed him. Like, okay. Well, I wonder if, like, Facebook, like, flagged one of Uwe Boll's like, videos or, like, one of his, like, things and, like, says it was inappropriate content or whatever. And now he's butthurt. Or, or he read how Mark Zuckerberg is, like, data mining us or something like that. And he's just like, oh, I cannot believe that. I'm going to put him in my film as being killed. A fucking employee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him murdered by one of my... It's an own employees. And then my favorite part. Oh, your favorite. I'm going to let you explain this. I, I, I can, can't believe I, it. I am in awe. That they did this? That they are so childish that they put this in. Like, if the other stuff didn't sound childish enough, this will solidify it. They're like, we also have reports that pop pop rich i think they even say like rich pop stars yes. as opposed to those poor pop stars yeah because you know every every famous pop star is so poor and they're like those rich rich pop stars rihanna taylor swift and britney spears have also been shot dead why just why you know why because he has an adolescent mind and Okay, who else would put that? In is that mind? not? Is, here's the thing: is that not something that a angry twelve year old would write? Like an angry twelve year old that doesn't like pop music and watch yeah. a, Z, a Z Geist. Because here's the thing: like, look, we were we were fucking twelve years old once. We all knew like angry dweebs who like hated everything that was popular. Well, like you know, like wouldn't let you listen to pop music because it was lame and stuff like that. It's like, yeah. Who cares what you listen to? It's like, but here's the thing. Like, we're adults now. Like, who the yeah. fuck cares? I don't care. Why is a f middle-aged man... Why is that in the movie? It's just childish. It's insane. Well, and they bring up, like, every hot-button issue of all time. Like, they're just like... Yeah. Every manifesto has to do with every single hot-button issue. It's like, like, fucking pick a subject and just stick with it. Oh, no. It's all-encompassing. It's like government... Gun violence, brutality, fucking everything. Drugs, fucking... Drugs. Like, privacy, free... Fucking nukes and... Freedom of... Oil, speech, like... Nukes. Like, well, I love all this, because he, he, half the time he contradicts himself, because he talks about how gun violence was bad, but he... This, watch the movie. He can do it, because... Because he's proving a point. All the people at the end who are gunning down rich pop stars, like... He's proving a point, because... There's no checks and balances on gun violence, and so he's proving that this can happen anywhere. There should be checks and balances on on movies like this. I just thankfully there are because Uwe Boll retired. I thank fucking Christ, dude. Like, I, I, here's I just, the thing, though. I'm 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 broken. If I was not broken, I would I would say that the absolute end of the movie is like the most fucking just brain dead offensive bullshit ever but i'm aware that we are dealing with a mongoloid <laughs> we're dealing with a troglodyte dude. with a fucking fossil he, he's a fucking troglodyte <laughs> like neanderthal because after we find out that these random pop stars i'm sorry that's an insult to troglodytes and neanderthals who are i'm sure there's They're, both better they'd be rolling in their frozen graves right now if they knew that this existed they, they knew if they knew because at the very end, we get random footage of just random people being shot in the street, and it's like, okay, are those like, are those supposed to be like CEOs of, like, okay, whatever. Here's the thing, Alex. How, how do we know? know? How do we know that any of them are rich? They don't. They just look like normal people. They are normal people. They're not wearing like a bunch of <laughs> bleach. No, it's fine because, <laughs> and like, because and like high designer clothes. No, here's the thing. When you watch Bill Williamson, you become super woke. <laughs> And when you become incredible woke, you have this special ability to, to see, see who's rich, how much people make. Yeah, you become super woke, and you can tell like who's rich and who's not. So you can only shoot the it's right like a, people. It's like a superpower, you can see how much how much their net worth is, <laughs> and, sh and you can shoot them if it's above like like sixty k. So apparently, if you see Rihanna at at your Starbucks, you just gotta fucking do it. I don't know. Dude, if you see even just a rich, like, a rich white Karen or something, you just gotta fucking mow her down. Yeah. Because, again, I'll ask. I I'll ask. Who, who other than just crazy-ass people have walked, have, like, had something bad happen to them, and they're just like, you know what? I wanna fucking kill that guy. 
Uh, yeah, not only like, that, like but little a grown, a grown man, like little inconveniences, right? Yeah. So like, if say like you know, like in the movie, Bill Williamson, like a waitress trips and spills her food, like the food all over him, right? And then in the next movie, he's like, "Oh, she tripped on me," and then he kills her for that. Yeah. Now, Yoga. Now what? <laughs> what fucking adult has something understandably like an understandable mistake happen to them? Where they're kind of in, slightly inconvenienced. Yeah. And they're just like, I'm going to fucking kill you for that. Yeah. Like, who, what adult thinks like that? But apparently, we are all supposed to be deeply inspired by this adult. I'm not, by though. This adult. He's, a f he's a fucking lunatic in the movie. He is, and apparently, we're supposed to think he's the good guy. He's not, though. But the whole time, I'm like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's like in Silence of the Lambs that they tried to have us, like, sympathize with Hannibal, even though he's doing some horrific shit. Like, you kind of like or him. any. Because he, he's charming, right? That's, yeah, but... That's the whole point of Hannibal. He's not a good guy. But here's the thing. There's no scene in Silence of the Lambs where they're like, he's right, you know. He's right. You know what? Hannibal's right. We should eat people. We should eat people. Because, <laughs> Yeah. Even in, like, the show and everything, like, they, they never paint Hannibal to be, like, this messiah, right? Because it's almost like when good people make media, <laughs> they know what they're doing. And when troglodytes make it, they don't. No. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, terror is good. But he's not a terrorist. Even oh, he's, he's not. very clearly a terrorist. The very end, though. Oh, my God. This fucking guy busts into the news station. And again mows everybody down mm -hmm. they're they're apparently they all deserve to die why i don't fucking know because bad and the guy we see that it's the homeless man from from part two the one where his like friend died and like and bill's like you gotta do something you gotta do something with your fucking life what are you fucking doing fucking sitting there and at the end he kills everybody he kills all these innocent people and then he looks at the camera and is like like, I'm doing this because I'm inspired by Bill Williamson. And then he shoots the camera roll credits, and we're, I'm supposed to be like, yeah. Like, hurrah! I'm so glad that happened. Why would anyone be glad that happened? Who stands up and cheers at that moment? Blow it out your ass. <laughs> like, who's like, hell yeah! I can't wait for the fourth rampage. <laughs> here's the ultimate... Here's the goodness out of all this though because see our man tried to have a kickstarter for postal 2 yes which nobody gave a shit about and it failed we and didn't then watch he, postal but because, because i'm not sitting through a fucking movie bowl comedy he also tried doing a kickstarter for this film yes because not just a kickstarter he did also an indiegogo because he wanted more funding more funding both failed and he made a video on YouTube. You can find it. It's just called Fuck You All. All lowercase. As an angry 12-year-old yelling at a camera. And it's Uwe Boll saying, apparently no one gives a shit about Rampage 3, so fuck you all. Like, I quit. I'm done. And just insulting, like, other directors and I other movies. I have news for Uwe Boll. No one does give a shit about Rampage 3. Why? This is not it. Yeah, no one gives a shit. For very good reason. And, like, I am I am gonna get very fucking personal here, but the kind of people that would give a shit about Rampage 3 don't have money to fucking give to you. Because they're probably 12 years old and, and still eating fucking Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew. If I ever meet a person like, that enjoys this movie, I will probably judge them harshly. I would judge you, yeah. I, I, I try not to judge people on their film preferences because everyone, you know, film is like a, like an all-changing oh, yeah. thing. Look, you, there, there's movies that I hate, but if you told me you like it, it's like, like you mentioned, Transformers. Yes. I people don't like really Transformers. People really like those. Like, but hey. I don't know why people still like the fucking Resident Evil movies, <laughs> but like, people do. They there's do. A, there's a reason they make so much money, and I'm not going to judge you for that, okay? But will at least Resident Evil and Transformers don't have completely fucked like moral compasses like movies and music is like you can like what you like right yeah if you like this movie though this i wrong. will not trust you at all in your film like like if you're like 
oh yeah, one of my favorite movies is Rampage President Down. I'd be like, yeah, we're we're not talking yeah. anymore. Like, about I, I like I cheered when the homeless man at the end said that he's mowed down everybody and said he's doing this for Bill Williamson. I'd be like, you know what? Like, I think we should stop talking. I think we're done. Yeah. I think you know. I think we. <laughs> I'd be like, dude, like, you do you. I'm sorry. I don't. I never want to talk to you ever again. Yeah, lose the, <laughs> lose this number, <laughs> please. Um, I don't know. Like, there's people that like the second one fine, but like, if you like this one, even if you like the second one, it's kind of a reach. But like, no, the second one is. I I hate the second one, and again, this is the dumbest thing I've seen. The second one is is second place for that. I just don't understand. I don't know. I just think that like, and this is like taking this is. I think this has taken the coveted worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life because it literally, I hated every single second of this movie. I would say There's yes. There's not a single frame where I was like, you know what? This is I, fine. You know, like, this is this is okay. That's the thing. Okay. There, yeah, even okay. <laughs> None. Like, I would have taken anything, but, like, there is not a single second. That is Okay. That is okay. Everything is wrong with this movie. It yeah. Is, it is just a dumpster fire. It's an hour and a half of bullshit. Yes. And to cap it off at the very end, you get a footage of Uwe Boll taking like, his hat off. Taking his hat off and then putting it back on and walking away from the camera. Do you think it was before or after the fuck you all? <laughs> 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 yeah, do you think I, do you think it was after he told everybody including including the people who donated to go fuck themselves? We get this somber music as Uwe walks away. And walks away like he's done. I'm just like good fucking riddance. It's a child. It's like a child after you tell them too many times stop playing in the fucking sand pit they just like <laughs> fuck you like, mm. <laughs> and then walk away slowly fuck this movie fuck Uwe Boll I'm just, I am so fucking we're glad done. we're done and we will be talking up a storm about it on fucking Sunday Best we might believe. we will see we'll see how much how much more we can mine out of this bullshit man I mean We'll probably just go over, like, our least favorite things. I mean, we could just list this movie, but, you know. Just list every frame. But I don't this. know. Like, there's, like, a lot of things wrong with a lot of the other movies, so we can go over some other ones, too. But, I mean, we're not going to talk all six hours about no, Uwe Boll. No, because eventually, worry. trust me. We'll, we'll get we'll get tired of talking about Uwe Boll. It might just be, like, the first hour. So, if you want to hear it, just tune in for the first hour of yeah. it. Yeah. Um... Because we this will is be it. playing the games the whole time, so. Because here's the thing: after maybe talking about better movies. After that Sunday, guess who's never talking about Uwe Boll again? These two guys. Like I don't care. You you'll be like, like we'll we'll make we'll review a movie and it'll be bad, and someone will be like, oh, is it worse than Uwe Boll? And I'll be like, who? You know what? Actually, that gives me hope because like think about it. Now n we have rock bottom. Right, we've, we've hit it. We've hit rock bottom, and like literally any movie that's like even close to like this level of bad will still be miles better than this. It won't annoy me. Yes, at least, it, and it'll be over probably quicker. It will be over quicker because and you know boy, what? like it won't. We won't ever. We just. It, it's kind of a saving grace, right? Because it's like we've hit rock bottom. We're there. Like we this know is, this is the fucking ditch this is the depth yes so we're there and there's only up to go <laughs> it can only get better even shit movies are gonna look like shining fucking pieces of gold compared to these movies i'm so glad we're back to 78 we don't have to do any more i fuck doing another shit respect to dude this, no no no, this no, no, fucking no, no, no almost like this was personal we almost turned this fucking movie off like multiple times dude i was during that last news segment where they were talking about all the dead CEOs and dead pop stars, I was very close to telling you to turn the fucking thing off. I could not take it. The stupidity was ramping up so much. Yeah. And now it's over. And here's the thing. No more shit perspectives because this was personal. This was. We had to get through. This is like our all-time least favorite director for a reason. Like we've had. We, we were subjected to this moron growing up because, oh, there's a zombie movie coming out. 
Interesting. There's a new video game movie coming out. Oh, they, they made an adaptation of Alone in the Dark. Weird. And then we... And they're all bad. And they're all... That's the thing. None of them. They're all bad. None of them are even redeem, redeemable. There's not even one that's okay. <laughs> no. They're all just... How do you do that? They all just belong in the garbage. How does the director not make a single frame that is is decent? That That's the thing. Like, there's directors that have made, like, bad movies... But if they've made more than one, like at least like I don't know, maybe one well, of them's okay. Well, and at least you find maybe parts of a movie you like, right? Yeah. Maybe parts of like so certain directors will direct like multiple movies, and it's like you'll find something about their filming style or something about their directing that you kind of like, or like maybe a frame was really cool, or there's a scene that's well done, or maybe they like set up a shot really well. You know, something. Something. Maybe the music is good. Or, or like, even if the movie's shit, at least you're like, you know what? They had, like, they they were fucking interesting. There's something interesting. Yes. But. Nothing. It, you know what it is? It's just shaky cam and bullshit. <laughs> That's, That's all it is. It's an Uwe Boll movie. That's a review for Uwe Boll. Shaky cam and bullshit. Did you see that movie that was all shaky cam and bullshit? <laughs> oh, you mean it was an Uwe Boll movie. Yep. Yeah. So anytime, anytime you watch like a new Bull film, just remember, it's always going to just be shaky cam and bullshit. It's bullshit. And the amazing thing is, the most amazing, shocking thing is that he only seemed to get worse. I don't know how, but it did. Like the true rip-off artist, tax fraud scumbag that he is, <laughs> he Shit somehow stain. only managed to get worse. Like he like the tripods disappeared, the money disappeared, the actors disappeared. It's just a fucking mess. And then you get to this, and it's like this is how you want to end your career. This is the lowest of the low. With just no. Yeah. I I did, however, love love the uh, the high fucking contrast snow in the movie. Oh yes, where they put the blue screen on it and fucking ramped it up ramped it up so it looked like snow but it's not it's just rainy it's like you know did you need snow in the movie you could have just not had snow in the movie yeah you could have been in the wilderness it didn't matter what season it was we don't need snow apparently we did that's the think about it that's like one of the few stylistic touches in the movie and it's a fucking disaster <laughs> You know how old directors would do day for night all the time? Like, why are you doing this? This is snow for day. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Uwe Boll to do night for day. Yep. I wouldn't either. I'm surprised he didn't. <laughs> Maybe in one of the Blood Rain is he did, I think, but I can't remember. I don't even remember anything. I don't know. But anyway. I don't remember anything. I'm I'm forgetting it all. I, I'm done. Fuck you, Uwe Boll. You're Fuck this. a shit stain on the filmmaking community, and you're fucking atrocious, and you're a troglodyte. You are a troglodyte. You're a brain dead troglodyte, <laughs> and you should never fucking have made any movie, and you should never <laughs> make a movie ever fucking again. I hope no one funds your uh, future endeavors. That is the dream. Is yep. he's done. I don't want to wish death upon anyone, but I would not shed a tear. No, you made you made Rampage two and three. I don't care. Yes, my sympathy is non-existent. No one's gonna start a Bill Williamson movement. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. For... <laughs> I assure you, when the day comes that you sleep the big sleep, <laughs> movie bowl. There's not no. going to be random people walking the streets mowing down Taylor Swift and Rihanna. Thank God you don't have like a protege or anything oh like that. God. I don't know who would follow you, but you know what? Just go fuck yourself because you're 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 shameful. I do like to imagine though that now that he's retired, every time he sees a homeless man, I like to imagine him like getting all fucking smug, mm -hmm. being like, "I used to be a big deal, you know." And they're like, "What?" I used to take advantage of government funding. I used to take advantage of government loopholes and pretend like I'm changing the world for the better. Scumbag. Yeah, fuck you. God. Fuck this. Anyway. Sunday. The, Sunday. Be there. Be there. Live stream. It's going to be great. And then after Sunday, we're back to normal and it's everything's good. Everything's good. My, everything's wholesome. 1978, we're good. So anyway, 
Fuck you, Uwe Boll. This Fuck is, you. This has been a shit retrospective on Uwe Boll. It's over. For the mostly come out at night. This has been Will. <sighs> this has been Alex. Thank fucking God it's over. We Goodbye. Are done. Bye.